the tools you're gonna need. All you're gonna need is basically a Phillips screwdriver, a eight millimeter socket. I recommend having some extension and a small wrench. You're gonna need a six millimeter Allen key, some grease. I recommend having some grease, not exactly this one, but any type of heavy duty grease and some pliers. And of course, your cable ready to install. So let's get into it. with the bottom so you wanna you see how it came down loose so maybe you can help pushing it a little bit but once you can it came loose you don't have to remove it far completely if you have connectors like I do you don't wanna go like disconnecting all, all of them so you can just leave the glove box here maybe you can use a rack here if you don't have the mat like I do you can put a rack here so you don't scratch anything but in my case I'm just gonna leave it here in place so we can work more comfortably so once you have removed the screws from here from the bottom all you gotta do is you want to put your fingers underneath and you want to twist this panel like that so you want to like lift it and clip like this and then all you gotta do is you gotta grab it from here from the bottom and then you lift it a little bit and twist it like that okay? and then you just want to disconnect the cables once we have removed the front panel here you can see this speedometer cable is right here and it goes all the way down. You wanna grab your little pliers and you wanna twist that, you know, break it that free because sometimes I know this is pretty hard, so. corroded you got that rubber piece and this metal piece right there and we got our cable ready to slide it out but before that you got a bracket that is under here in the fender so you want to twist the wheel to the other side and remove that so as you can see this bracket sometimes it can be inside this bracket so you will need to remove this fastener from there to be able to remove that cable but this time it's just inside here as you can see it's guided to that metal piece right there so you want to make sure that you guide the cable from there so we got here the new cable and the old cable it got stuck for completely as you can see here and here it got broken. Usually this comes you know with a little oil but it's not too much so what you want to do before you install your new one is you want to take out this whole thing and grease it before
completely stuck. It looks pretty bad. You know, the little gear and the cap, I did my best clean those holes because it was literally mud in there. If you wanna make sure everything is working the inside, there is a little gear like this one that is on the top. So you can put your finger on the top like this and feel it while you spin the wheel. So you can put your finger in there and spin the wheel and you can feel that gear moving. So the way you install this one, as you can see, you got that little part with a square opening. It's a bigger hole, so that's the part that goes facing out and this goes in there like that. So. We have our cable here ready, all grease up to in the inside. We're ready to swap it in into the scooter. We're gonna proceed and slide this end from here into the little hole. We're gonna proceed and swap that part first from there and then guide the cable through over here, put the zip tie on, connect it. That's how you simple replace your speedometer cable on your ET2 or ET4 or LX. It's pretty much the same process. Just make sure you pass the cable through all the right places and you have the knock slack to twist the, the handle to one side to the other. So those are most of the important things. Make sure you check down the link below in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. gear inside you want to make sure you keep that clean so you don't have to replace you know the whole mechanism just keep an eye on that regrease everything keep it nice and clean and lubricated so it's nice and smooth as well as the cable in the inside <laughs>